Learn and play online. In today's video, we are going to learn about equivalent fractions. If you haven't already done so, please check out our first video on equivalent fractions as we explain the concept using visual representations. There will be a link in the description box for you to follow. Now let's quickly recap what we already know about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions that represent the same value but have different numerators and denominators. In our first video, we used visual representations starting with a whole circle. From there, we divided the same size circle into different equal parts, and we were able to determine that one half is equivalent to two quarters, three sixths, and four eighths, as you can see in the visuals on the screen. We also made use of the visuals on a fraction wall to show the same concept. But in this video, we are going to learn how to find equivalent fractions without the use of pictures, and it's actually much easier than you think. The key thing to remember is, what you do to the top, you must do the same to the bottom. And of course, when we're talking about the top, we're talking about the numerator. And when we say the bottom, we're talking about the denominator. Let's have a look at some examples so you can have a better understanding. So we already know that one half is equivalent to two quarters. But how can we find equivalent fractions without needing to draw pictures? We need to look at the relationship between the numerators and the denominators. When trying to calculate equivalent fractions, we only use the mathematical operations of multiplication or division. Let's look at the equivalent fractions on the screen. For the numerators, to get from the number 1 to the number 2, we have to multiply 1 by 2. And remember the golden rule here, what you do to the top, you must do the same to the bottom. So 2 times 2 would give you 4. Let's now multiply 1 half with another whole number to see if we can find a different fraction that is equivalent. Let's multiply the numerator by 3. 1 times 3 equals 3. Now do you remember the golden rule to use when calculating equivalent fractions? That's right! What you do to the top, you must do the same to the bottom. So 2 times 3 equals 6. Now we can say that 1 half is equivalent to 3 sixths. And here is a cheeky picture to prove it is true. Here is a chance for you to try finding an equivalent fraction for 2 fifths. Multiply this fraction by 3 to find the equivalent fraction. Feel free to pause the video if you need extra time. Let's see if you got the right answer. 2 times 3 equals 6. 5 times 3 equals 15. So the equivalent fraction for 2 fifths is 6 fifteenths. Here is one more practice question before we move on to the next part of the video. Find the equivalent fraction for 3 quarters if you were to multiply this fraction by 4. Again, feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Three times four equals 12, and four times four equals 16. So three quarters is equivalent to 12 over 16. This time you will find another equivalent fraction for three quarters, but the numerator has already been given to you, and it is nine. Your job is to find out what the denominator should be. Remember, what you do to the top, you must do the same to the bottom. Think about the relationship between the numerators. How do you get from the number 3 to the number 9? That will help you figure out the denominator. Good luck! To get from 3 to 9, you had to multiply the numerator by 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. Since you have to do the same to the denominator, 4 times 3 equals 12. So 3 quarters is equivalent to 9 twelfths. We mentioned before that to find equivalent fractions, you can only use the mathematical operations of multiplication or division. Since we have been learning and practicing using multiplication, we will now move on to using division as a way to find equivalent fractions. This time, our starting fraction is 8 tenths. If we were to find the equivalent fraction that had a numerator of 4, what would the denominator be? To work this one out, we must look at the relationship between the numerators. To be able to get from the number 8 to the number 4, we must divide it by 2. B 
because 8 divided by 2 will give you 4. If we divided the numerator by 2, we must do the same to the denominator. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now we know that the equivalent fraction of 8 tenths is 4 fifths. Let's do another question together. Here we have 16 over 20. We need to find the equivalent fraction to this that has a denominator of 5. Since we've already been given the denominator, let's analyze the relationship between them. To be able to get from the number 20 to the number 5, we had to divide 20 by 4. If that's what we did to the bottom, we must do the same to the top. So 16 divided by 4 equals 4. Now we have found out that an equivalent fraction to 16 over 20 is 4 fifths. Now it's your turn to have a go. Find the denominator for the equivalent fraction to 14 over 18, with the numerator being 7. Look at the relationship between the numerators to help you. Let's see how you went. To get from 14 to 7, we had to divide 14 by 2. Since this is what we did to the top, we also have to divide the denominator 18 by 2 as well. 18 divided by 2 is 9, so 14 over 18 is equivalent to 7 ninths. We hope we have helped you to learn how to find equivalent fractions without visual representations easily. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.